prayer on Thursday the 5th of November. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you, and make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence which the saints enjoy surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The deer longs for the water brooks. So longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night. While all the day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude, and led the procession to the house of God. The voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? I put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm number 11 In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to the hill? For see how the wicked bend the bow, and fit their arrows to the string, to shoot from the shadows of the true of heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His eyelids try every mortal being. <coughs> the Lord tries the righteous as well as the wicked. But those who delight in violence his soul the balls. Upon the wicked, he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulphur. Scorching wind shall be their portion to drink. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. And those who are upright shall behold his face. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Reading from the book of Revelations. And to the angel of the church in Sardis wrote, These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a name for being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is at the point of death, for I have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. Remember then, what you received and heard, obey it and repent. If you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come to you. <laughs> Yet you have still a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. If you conquer, you will be clothed like them in white robes, and I will not blot out your name of the book of life. I will confess your name before my Father and before his angels. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, 
who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and not denied my name. I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews and are not, but are lying. I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you, because you have kept my word of patient endurance. I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on top of the whole world to test the inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast to what you have, that no one may seize your crown. If you conquer, I will make you a pillar of the temple of my God. You will never go out of it. I will write on you the name of my God, and the name of, you, of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem that comes down from my God out of heaven, and my own new name. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. <laughs> I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaim your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we bring before you this new day, the first day of our new lockdown. Be with us in all that we do, that we may continue to praise your name, to tell your name to those who are yet to hear, in spite of the lockdown we are enduring. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that the world today, we pray for the people of the world who are in lockdown, Give them the strength and the courage to work through this period for the good of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those in Tangmere and Oban, for those who are unable to come to church due to lockdown, but are still part of our worshipping communities. Be with us all that we may praise and glorify your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people in these villages of Tangmere and Oving, that they may hear your word, come to know your love, 
be strengthened by the promises your Son, our Saviour, gave us through his death on the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our political leaders, that they have They have the thoughts of the people in their hearts. Be with them in all that they do. That they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ in all that they do, now and forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.